I want to show you this instrument uh, because it's a, a tear down from the great Bronishes and things like that. Not everyone's looking for one of those. We understand that. But these second rung um, German pianos, once again with the spruce soundboard and everything, uh, they deserve proper consideration. And similarly with the Hall of Fame pianos, uh, we rebuild them so that they're ready to go and do a couple of generations if that's what's required from a family. Uh, perhaps an instrument like this, you might pay say 3000 for it, so somewhere in that order, plus the delivery and tuning. But uh, you've got an instrument that you can either keep forever, or if the person learning really starts to do well, and is looking at 6th, 7th, even 8th grade, licentiate too, which I did myself years ago, then perhaps as a reward for those years of application, which will be several, um, then you can bring this instrument back to us. We've been doing that for 101 years now as a family. And I'm the fifth generation, and I'm pleased to say that this very year, um, one of my sons has joined me. He's a carpenter by trade, but has expressed an interest over the last few years. And so he's rolling up his sleeves, and he'll do a seven-year apprenticeship with me, like I did with my father. And why? Why is it that long? Well, it's not just piano tuning. We're talking about piano building. We are actually piano builders, as in clock makers. So there's not a part in this instrument that we can't repair or fix. Right down to the iron frame, if need be. We've got all the casting um, cauldrons and sand pits for casting. So we can take a damaged frame out and cast a new one, and then gilt it beautifully and put it back in. Uh, that's work that's sort of being lost, unfortunately. But um, going right back to the south of England for some generations, the family's been doing that, the Sargent family, and they're still there in Deal, doing precisely this work. And uh, a couple of years ago, I had the pleasure of um, travelling for the first time, my wife and I, and we went and met them. And uh, they knew of us, a wild colonial boy who's, you know, battling to keep the tradition going. But piano building as opposed to just tuning. It also means you have to be an excellent concert tuner. And I don't go dressed up like this. I go in a uh, proper suit and very nicely attired to meet the uh, travelling musicians and uh, prepare the beautiful sine waves and some of the Yamahas for them. And that's what Douglas is embarking on and he's really showing you uh, some really wonderful skills already. He's surprising me. So to this instrument, uh, a Neumeyer, uh, they're here in good numbers in Australia, made in Berlin. A beautiful iron frame, concert pitch instrument, uh, to which we've spared nothing. New hammers, dampers, all the bearings and bushings done, tapes, kid leathers. Uh, this one is ready to send, be sent off to do a couple of generations of work. Um, and it's a beautiful toned instrument, and right on concert pitch. And uh, that will take a person right from the very beginnings of their music through to perhaps 6th uh, or even 7th grade. 